Hey guys, so for the next book challenge video, which is this one, um, I had to read a book by an author I love. Now I went through the list on Goodreads of some, well first I went through some authors I love and then I went through a list of the books written by those authors that maybe interest me and then I looked at my libraries um, as to which one I could get sooner and which one was most easily available. And in the end, I picked I Am The Messenger by Marcus Suzak. Now, I love him because I read The Book Thief and I loved it, like absolutely adored it. And I've also got the audiobook of it and I just, I love it. Um, so I thought, you know what, uh, it's fine to pick it up. I'll read the blurb in a minute. Actually, I'll read it now. Protect the diamonds, survive the clubs, dig deep through the spades, feel the hearts. Ed Kennedy is an underage cab driver without much of a future. He's pathetic at playing cards, hopelessly in love with his best friend Audrey, and utterly devoted to his coffee-drinking dog, the doorman. His life is one of peaceful routine and incompetence, until he inadvertently stops a bank robbery. That's when the first ace arrives in the mail. That's when Ed becomes the messenger. Chosen to care, he makes his way through town helping and hurting when necessary, until only one question remains. Who's behind Ed's mission? And I, I'm i halfway through. According to Goodreads, I'm 65% of the way. And I just love it. It's, it's a bit weird and slightly pretentious, but I think everyone can just take a leaf out of this book and just really, you know, do, do good things. The, the book is about someone who is kind of going around being the hero, just in secret though, and changing little things. And it's things that aren't seen, but it's things that are so crucial. And I think, I wish if we could all just be a bit more like Ed Kennedy, if we could all just be a little bit more like him, just imagine how much better the world would be. Like, it'd be such a good place. Now, there are some things in here which I don't agree with and things that I don't think we should do. But then there are other things which I think are so important. And I really wish more people would, you know, take a leaf out of this book because it's, it's really important, I think, and very... I really think it would change people's lives. I really think that the world, even in miniature steps, would still become a better place if people acted more the way Ed Kennedy acts. So that's my review so far, and I will come back to you guys later with a better or more finished review. <laughs> Until then, goodbye. Sorry, this is a really weird angle and it's still like it's only 7.30 in the morning or something and I'm in my pajamas still so I'm sorry but I just finished I'm the Messenger and oh my god. I... Uh, such a good book. Oh my god and the ending is just brilliant. Oh, it's so good and oh, I just really highly recommend it. Like the, there was a tiny bit of a dip nearing the end I was like oh where's this leading to and then the last couple of lines I was like oh my god it was so good I highly recommend it on Goodreads I only gave it four stars but that's because it is so rare for me to give five stars I've got like three or four books that have five stars and I really hate it that you can't do half stars because if you can I would have given it four and a half but it is it it it's not as good as the book thief but it was a very good book yeah but yeah, it was a great read. So now I will continue with another book because that's that's my life. <laughs> hey guys. Bye. So it's 1.30 now and I'm not gonna add a lot more, but I have had a bit more time to think about it because when I filmed that last bit, I'd literally just finished reading it. Um, and I think what I really, really like, and this isn't the first book Marcus Zack has done this in, he also did this in The Book Thief, but what I really, really loved about it as well, on top of everything else, was that it really broke the fourth wall, but in a really amazing way. And also, I think I mentioned this before a little bit, but I'm not sure. The ending, and quite often you have books like this, which can end a bit cheesily or a bit mmm. And this book, the ending, I think for me, the, my favourite part was the ending. It was just so brilliant. Like, I would... Honestly, if you've started reading this and you never got around to finishing it, finish it because I, yeah. Anyway, so if once if you're gonna read this book and once you finish reading a book, the reading the book, please comment below because I really, really just want I want I need to discuss it. I can't discuss it with anyone because no one else has read it. But oh my god. Anyway, goodbye. <laughs>